Hi, uh, good evening everybody. It is 729 July the 27th. You guys, I've noticed since I've cut my comments, um, it doesn't matter what I'm saying here. It's just the dislikes that are constantly coming against it. And that shows me that this is spiritual, you guys. And it's those that take pleasure in this world okay, that are being hosted by these uh, dark spirits, those that are um, the enemy that's here above uh, working against uh, Christ. They're anti-Christ. Yeah, I know perfectly well what they are. It doesn't matter what I say, it's just coming against. And what it is that they don't like is that we are seeing what God is doing and we're acknowledging God's power in the earth and the enemy doesn't like that. When you're focused on um, what God is really doing here and where scripture says these things, that there, there's nothing hidden that will not be revealed. All things will come into the light. And that's what's happening here, you guys. These things are being brought into the light. And the enemy doesn't like it. It lets him know his time is very short. And and it also lets the people know. Excuse me one second. It also lets the people know um, what's going on. You know? But they don't like it. You know? I mean, they've had their way in here for a long time. And knowing that this is coming to an abrupt end, it could be very, you know, if you look at it from their side, you know, their time is up and there's nothing they can do about it, you know, but watch, you know, as Jesus told us to watch, they're seeing it and they don't like it. Let me put it this way. They're watching a little bit more than other people are. Everybody should be doing just that, watching and glorifying the Father and the Son and everything that we're witnessing right now. Um, it's mighty. It's powerful. You know, we're praising the Father and the Son right now and everything that we're seeing. You know, it's a mighty, powerful thing, you guys. Anyhow, <laughs> it's going to be a beautiful thing, you guys. To be free out of this and to be in our eternal bodies, you know, to be with our Lord and Savior forever after this. No more of this. You know, this life is, man, when he came and said our bondage is over, captive, we're, we're set free, our captivity is over. Wow, what a blessing, you know, to know that there's hope to getting out of this place and being free from it. Therefore, we shouldn't have any love of it at all, as Scripture tells us, you know. But you guys, you can clearly see those who are paying attention. And that's why Jesus told us to watch. And, and it says there's nothing hidden that won't be revealed. All things are coming to the light. And this is going to be another reason why the uh, Antichrist is going to jump in to take power and control at that time because God, as it says in Revelation 17, 17, God is putting everything in their minds and their hearts to do these things until they give their power to the beast. Okay? This is it. And he knows his time is up and he's going to take his position when the timing is there because he'll have no choice but to do that. You know, because he's going to be striving to um, take control of it or lose it. And he's not going to do that. He's going to strive to take power. It's destiny. His, his destiny is set. There's a time for everything and he will do just as everybody else will do. They're vessels of honor or vessels of dishonor. Scripture is clear about this, you guys. We should be glorifying the Father knowing that we are seeing what we're seeing right now and glorify the Father and the Son in this. The enemy doesn't like this. This is one reason why I get a lot of people coming down against it. I'm not sitting here focusing on dates. 
you know, saying rapture, rapture. You know, I'm not focused on that. What I'm focused on is what God is revealing to us constantly. You know, do I have hate, hatred towards our government for what they're doing? God's in control of everything, man. This place is, um, they're all being handed over to reprobated minds. And everything was created by God. So everything's not what we think of it. You know, all we need to do is be glorifying the Father and the Son, praising Him and everything that you're seeing right now. Okay, most people are not doing this. Most people are, well, God help them. They're not able to. Their minds are uh, reprobated minds, you know? Strong delusions. They don't even know it. You know, the Lord's been revealing a lot of mighty powerful things around me. And I was told things that are coming. That uh, he's going to be using me in a mighty way. You know. And uh, I was told not to let this, like this new body, uh, go to my head. It's going to be mighty powerful. But it's going to be to do the will of God. Not my will, but his will be done. That's that's exactly it. And I pray for that too, that you know, he puts it in my heart to know and to do what his will is. That's what I want to do. That's all I want to do. You know? But uh you guys share this with other people about the signs, what we're seeing and why we're seeing it, and how the word of God that's another reason why the devil's gonna be going after scripture, because it clearly says Everything that we're experiencing. The, the whole word of God is coming to uh, fulfillment. I don't care what religion there is out there. If they can't see this, it's because they're blinded by the devil. Or because they're taking pleasure in God's hidden it. You know, put them under strong delusions. But those that are not under strong delusions, they should be able to start seeing this and putting it together. And the devil don't want that. This is where it says the children of God are being manifested and the children of the devil are being manifested right now. So this could be a time in this, even though it doesn't look good right now, but this could be the time that we're getting more people coming to our Father and Lord Jesus Christ in these times as he's revealing things, as he's bringing things to the light the word of God is also coming to fulfillment. You know, that's why it says, all who call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered, will be saved. Okay? And we're called to repent. And that's why it says, repent and return to your first love. Okay? Repent and call on the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay? This is where everybody's going to have an opportunity to do these things right now and uh those that aren't able to they're just not going to be able to it's just not in them they're either vessels of honor or vessels of dishonor and we're seeing it all come to all come to pass the close the more we get into this the more you're going to see it a lot of people are being driven and they don't even know it to them everything still seems the same and normal to us we see the wickedness increasing and we're like, you know, we should just be glorifying the Father in it. You know, because we see what they don't see. That's why it says in Daniel 12.10, the wicked will continue to do wicked. And none of the wicked will understand, but the wise will. This is where they're being manifested and those that are being manifested into God. And we're seeing where scripture is coming to life. That's where everybody needs to be glorifying the Father and the Son and everything. And sharing these things where people can understand and see it in other nations of all, all our brothers and sisters of all nation, tongue, and kindred. Okay, that's why it says that. We're all brothers and sisters of all nation, tongue, and kindred. Okay, you guys. God bless you. I love you all. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We're going to get a lot of people hating these videos, especially the closer we get. God bless you. In Jesus' name.